Ladies and gentlemen, in the words of Kevin Hart, all right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to learn tonight. We're going to drop the bomb on them, ladies and gentlemen. Not tonight, tonight. By the way, rest in peace to the RB singer, Better Right. Tonight is the night. But anyway, enough of that bull crap. Ladies and gentlemen, first thing first, before I talk my ish in this video. Yo, first thing first. Shout out to every new subscriber that has subscribed it yesterday. I see y'all. Second of all, shout out to everybody. They've been sharing the videos. I see you as well. And third, shout out to everybody that's been, excuse me, that's been supporting me for a very long time. Like I said before, it's been a long time coming. And y'all, once again, we are elevating. So that's what we're going to talk about in tonight's video, Elevation. If you understand where I'm coming from. But yeah, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, that is. For all my new subscribers, shout out to you. Much respect. And the old school subscribers, shout out. Much respect to you as well. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this party jumping. They are envious of your resilience. When you elevate it, it pissed them off even more. Ladies and gentlemen, let me talk to y'all. Y'all have pissed people off so much because of your resilience. Y'all have so much strength built inside of you. See, look at these veins right here. So what they tell you right there, strength. Y'all had so much strength inside of you. It drove people like them insane. They went insane in the membrane. Because they can't figure out why you so strong. Why you got this much faith inside of you. See, today, society wants you to be weak. Walk around here with that monkey see, monkey do type of mindset. But when you stand out and you do your own thing, it's going to upset New York people. Have you noticed that? You see, when you follow the crowd, they love when you do that. <coughs> Excuse me, because you are brainwashed. But when you walk alone, when you go right and they go left, they don't like that. That everybody in the crowd turned their focus out on you. Now they're worrying about you because you elevating. You finna start going places that they cannot go. And this is why they're so pissed off. Every time y'all defeat another enemy, it come a new level. Congratulations. Y'all keep on pissing these people off even more and more and more and more. Y'all are giving me that Britney Spears vibe. Oops, y'all did it again. You pissed them off. And you don't eat. No, let me stop. But no, seriously, though. You seriously had done it again. And you're going to keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. It's not like you're doing this on purpose, but um, y'all raised y'all them raise hell. But like I said, you're not doing this on purpose. The reason why they so mad at you because they feel threatened. They feel like they should be doing that, but they can't do it. I mean, anybody can do it, but um, if you got some resilience in your veins, then you can do anything you set your mind to. But folks, they are mad at you. They are super envious. Every time you win, they over there punching holes in the wall, 
cussing. They huddle up in this little group, this hatred meeting group, whatever you want to call it. They call themselves trying to come up with a plan. But when their plan backfire, rest in peace to these two people from this TV show back in the 70s. Y'all remember good times, right? I don't know the mama name, but type in the comments below. But the guy that played the daddy, he just recently just passed away. So you know who he is. Rest in peace to him too. Every time you win, and every time they plan backfire, they over there. Damn, damn, damn. Y'all are pissing folks off with your elevation. You are going somewhere. As a matter of fact, you even saw this before it even happened. That's why they call it a vision. This is why you got that third eye. Your third eye even saw it before it even happened. This is why you don't tell folks what God is about to do in your life. Because as soon as you do, mm, you calling yourself having a dream, huh? You ain't Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King only had a dream. What gives you the right to have a dream? They would be talking these nonsense, talking trash, talking garbage. Oh, you got a dream now, huh? Who you think you is? Who, who, who are you? I have a dream. Who you think you is? People going to be mocking, laughing, picking. But let them do all that. Then we're going to be seeing going to be laughing. You see, you're not going to pick at them, but you're going to get the last laugh for sure. Not for sure, but for sure. I guarantee you that, ladies and gentlemen. So let them laugh. Let them have that two minutes of fame. I'll take that back. One minute of fame. No, not even one minute. Give them one second of fame. Because it ain't going to last. You see, the enemy, he will give them certain type of fame. And he going to snatch it away. And y'all know this is true. Look what's going on in Hollywood today. I ain't finna say no names, but you know what's going on. But when you live in your life, you moving in silence and you are elevating on the hush hush. Oh, yeah. That could make people want to ask questions. But what he doing? He, he's so quiet. She too quiet for me. I need to know. It ain't none of their business. But see, when you stay out the way, move low key, it triggers something inside of folks like them. That ally, they got to know. They got to know. I, I got to know. It's eating me up on the inside. I got to know. No, you do not. Tell them, y'all, no, you do not. Who they think they, excuse me, who do they think they are? Who do they think they is? I'll tell you who they is. A bunch of nobodies. Copycats. They want to stop your blessings, but you're too resilient. Look at the veins. You're too resilient for that. When you start elevating, the more they're going to become very, very hatred towards you. Trying to throw all this negative energy towards your way. But like I always say, y'all go have that baseball bat. And you're going to wait for white one of them to throw a spiritual ball at you. And you're going to get that baby roof, spiritual baseball bat, and knock it out the park. God forbid if it hit them on their forehead, but um, these people ain't got nothing on y'all. That's why they're standing there watching everything you do. Disbelieve, stunned, mad, pissed off, upset. Whatever you want to call it. They are super furious. I tell my soul dog on super. You might as well call them a super hater. Mm, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, that's a super hater right there. Don't let these folks ring on y'all parade. 
Never. I don't care who they are. Never tell nobody your plans. You tell the plan, you plan to fail. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. People want to know all of your business. Because you're moving in silence. You ain't tell them nothing what you got going on. But why do you want to know what you got going on? Because they know you no longer going to be around them anymore. I just can't put my finger on it. it it's something about them. I need to ask more questions. Like seriously, they want to ask all these questions. Why are they so worried about you? They're putting out all this energy towards you. Instead of using that same energy and focusing on their own lives. And then when you don't tell them, they get upset. They get all in their feelings. I'm talking about, they get so angry. You can see the smoke coming out their nose and ears. Because they know you want to them. <laughs> you be like, nice try, pal. Girl, nice try. But I see right through you. Y'all see right through these individuals. So let them be envious of your strength all you want. I mean, all they want to, excuse me. They could be envious of your strength all they want to. But one thing that is based on the true story. These people don't know what you have been through. Your shoes are way too big for these rookies. Y'all are legends. Some of you are icons. OGs. But for the young generation that's chosen, their arms are too short to box with the chosen one. Can somebody say holler one time? Because I'm going to tell you something. Y'all thought I was playing. No, nah, I take that back. They thought we were playing. No, 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 no. No. That's why they mad. They thought we were playing. Just like this man right here. When you're on that court, you ain't playing. You mean serious business. You finna go out there, slam dunk. But they want to get on the court. Not get on the court, but they want to sit on the bleachers and watch you play the game. But while you play the game, you're going to win. And that's going to make them even more mad. But oh freaking well. That's their decisions. That's their life. But like I said, when you move out of your city or your little town, whatever it is, I guarantee you, these people are going to go back telling lies. Oh, I used to hang out with him. Me and her used to be friends. But they would never tell their side of their own story. Because people want that spotlight. That's why they mad at you because you put in the work. You ain't had to go out here and celebrate failure. Celebrate good times. Come on. Celebrate good times. Come on. No. They call you weird because you stood out. They called you crazy because you messed out on parties and events. But as them blessings and the results start showing, you didn't miss out. They did. That's why they mad. And taking all that anger and all that frustration out on y'all. Because they had no idea that you really going to outsmart them. But congratulations. Y'all did a doggone thing. And they thought going out clubbing, making fun of you was going to actually work. Congratulations. You have officially won the idiotic certificate. So tell them, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. You're an idiot. Not y'all, but 
I'm not talking about for the fools that point the finger at you and laugh. But one thing about people like y'all that's on God's team, you will always get the last laugh. Sure, they may be laughing now, but in the end, you're going to get the last laugh. And they're going to feel good, too. But it's going to hurt them because you proved them wrong. You think they upset now? You think they pissed off now? Or they haven't seen nothing yet. God ain't finished with y'all yet. This is just the beginning. Remember, this is just the beginning. It is now getting started. So you think they mad at you now? Boy, y'all gonna make these people blood pressure run up sky high. They about to stop worrying about you and worry about their own selves. They are damaging their mental health trying to keep up with you. I'm talking about they so envious, they eyes turn to red. They getting so scratched out because they can't keep up with you. Then when you move away from them, a hundred miles, <laughs> what, what, what he doing? What, what she doing? Asking a hundred questions. I'll take that back. Asking one in a million questions. They want to know this and that. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Front, back, side to side, all types of questions. But, let me ask y'all this. These same people that's being nosy, did they really support you? Was they there for you when you were struggling? Was they there with you when you first started your business? I think not. So they got no business trying to ask questions. But like I said, it's your resilience. They got people upset. And they ain't about the clothes you wear, jewelry, car you drive, house you live in, apartment, double wide trailer, it don't matter. They mad because you got so much resilient faith and confidence in yourself. And people will get mad because you believed in yourself. That's all it takes. Remember, your faith could be small as a mustard seed. And people will get mad at that because you woke up and you saw your potential. Hell, they could have saw theirs, but get that people getting their ear. Come on, girl. Let's go to the club and show y'all stinky behinds, child. Okay? Bro, let's go to the club and like, get these three or fours. Come on, bro. Let's go sip on some some some. Let's go sip on that scissor. That's loser talk. But winners, screw the club. Let's go get this money. Let's go elevate. Let's quit this nine to five ever for ourselves. That's how winners talk. And when you start elevating and you start bagging it up, you just didn't talk. You start bagging it up. And that's why they're so pissed off. Rant, 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 rant. They don't cry all they want to. They don't complain, be mad all they want to. They can slam stuff. That ain't gonna stop you. <laughs> what that gonna do? Not a doggone thing. So ladies and gentlemen, keep on winning, keep on thriving. Let them be envious all they want to. Because you ain't stopping for nobody. You got the Energizer Bunny. You're going to keep on going and going and going and going. They wasn't ready. But you, you were born ready for this. That's why they over there saying, Damn, damn, damn. They thought they had you. But quite frankly, they didn't. Now look at them, looking like a complete fool. They thought they really had y'all. <laughs> Will they ever learn y'all? I think not. But 
they finna find out the hard way. Oh yes indeed, they finna find out the hard way. Mm hmm Why you think celebrities don't stay in their hometowns? There's gonna be so much tense, so much hatred. So when you elevate, guess what? You're gonna be long gone and they're gonna be still right there doing the same old thing. <laughs> but leave people behind y'all, which I know you will. And if you have already, good. But for the ones that's finna elevate, y'all finna lead these people. And boy, they ain't gonna like that, but oh freaking well. That'll be all right. <clears throat> Tell them y'all, that gonna be all right. But you? <laughs> y'all is about to step into a whole nother season. That's called your breakthrough season and your winning season. Them haters, or should I say, them super haters, they haven't seen nothing yet. So you think they pissed off now? Wait till you start elevating. Elevation. You got to isolate to elevate. That's why you had to remove yourself from certain type of people. Because you know they couldn't come with you. And when you got so much resilient built inside of you, that going to make these people feel insecure about themselves. But hey, their decisions, their life choices, not y'all's. All right? But ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Time to wrap it up. I hope you all enjoyed that video. And if you stay tuned, shout out to you. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share the content, turn your notifications bell on. And with that being said, God bless. I love you all. And remember, Keep doing what you're doing. And be safe out there. It's a doggy dog world out there, folks. Be safe, stay protected, and stay prayed up out there. All right? And make sure you wear your jackets. Because the weather is changing. Don't want anybody to get sick out there. Oh, be aware of these hurricanes and stuff. Y'all be safe. Like, seriously, please be safe. But yeah. God bless you all, and you will see me on the next one. Adios.